Glenn and Lou, yeah, some of those uh, pickets ended early, not here outside of Netflix in Hollywood. Writers and actors simultaneously striking for the first time since 1960. It's day two for picketers with SAG-AFTRA, and here outside Netflix in Hollywood, some familiar faces from both the industry and politics. Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff joining demonstrators today. Union leaders say around 160,000 actors and other performers, members of SAG-AFTRA, are now on strike. Schiff saying the strike has a large impact on his local constituents, one reason he was out here. SAG-AFTRA's chief negotiator out here as well, telling us the key sticking points are the uh, minimums paid for actors. They want those to come up. Also protections against AI and a greater share of streaming revenue. One SAG member gave me an example saying his shows used to rerun on TV with residual pay he could count on. Now he says those reruns go straight to streaming with a fraction of the compensation. Actor Michael Rappaport, one of the recognizable faces out here, talking about the impact on upcoming events like Comic-Con this week in San Diego. No Comic-Con, no promotion, no film festival, no nothing. Unfortunately, that's the way that's the way it is. We not. That's the way it is. That's the, the rules and regulations of a strong strike. What are the key issues for you? I just want to be here. I want to be in solidarity with my fellow actors and for the actors who are working three jobs in order to follow their own career. On the other side of this negotiation, a group called the AMPTP, an alliance of Hollywood studios and streaming companies, they've said in a statement that they presented a deal that offered historic pay and residual increases to actors, substantially higher caps on pension and health contributions, audition protections, and a groundbreaking AI proposal. But sag after negotiators say they are far apart. I asked Congressman Schiff specifically about the issue of artificial intelligence, or AI. Do you see Congress as having any role in that in terms of regulation and are you doing anything to that end? Yes, I think there's a big role for regulation in Congress. Uh, what I favor, at least initially, is the creation of a cabinet level agency that can move swiftly and deftly to deal with some of the impacts of AI. I'm a little skeptical about Congress as a whole and its ability to keep paces with rapid changes in technology. We did a lousy job when it came to social media. We have a new statement out today from L.A. Mayor Karen Bass saying in part Los Angeles is experiencing a summer of struggle to make ends meet. This is an historic inflection point to our city as our entertainment industry experiences economic pressure and business uncertainty. A fair and equitable solution must be reached. This as also today we learned that the city attorney has directed city officials that they should not speak out at union events or strike events saying that it could present a potential conflict of interest that would require them to recuse themselves from future votes. For now, that's the latest live here in Hollywood. I'm Lauren Lister. I'll send it back to you.